What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Uh, for all of you who don't know me, I'm a Nick. I'm a classical pianist and today we're going to continue talking about the pedal. So last time we were talking about three parameters of which you should think when you're using the pedal, which were like when exactly, how deep and how fast to push down the pedal at that specific part. And today we're going to talk about a much more interesting and much more important question, which is why are we using the pedal? If your answer on this question is because my teacher told me to do it or because the composer wrote it into the scores that we should use it, uh, I'm sorry, this is not an answer. You have to think of what the composer wants you to do, what kind of sound effect he wants you to create. So if you don't know why you are using the pedal, then you should try to not use it in that moment. Because, you know, I think that we're sometimes overusing the pedal and some parts would sound even better if we are not using any pedal at all. So if you're not sure why you're using the pedal or if you just don't know it why you're using it, then you should just try to leave it away for that part and listen how it is going to change your interpretation. If nothing is really changing and it is actually sounding even better, then maybe you should not use it in that moment. If it does not sound better without pedal, then you should try to understand how the pedal is helping you to create a specific sound effect. So in this video, we're going to talk about three basic sound effects that you can create through the pedal or the pedal will help you creating these sound effects. It's not only created through, through the pedal. That is something very important that you have to understand. So um, let's get started with the first sound effect, the pedal as legato support. To play legato, you have like two techniques, which are the finger legato, which is only using your fingers to create legato and the other type of legato is using the pedal. So basically the pedal is just going to elongate a note so we can release our hand, relax it, move it to the next um, key and create this type of legato. And therefore it is important to understand what legato means because legato has much more and much deeper meaning than only its form of articulation. We are not going to talk about playing legato and how to play legato today. This is the topic of the next video. Now let's look at some examples. In the end, you're not really using a lot of pedal to create this type of sound because you actually want a very clear sound. Another sound effect that you can create with the pedal is space. So you're creating more room in your sound through the pedal. So the more pedal you're using, the more room you're giving the sound. And this will create a very big sound. It does not always have to be a loud sound to be big, you know? It can also be a pianissimo sound and it's still getting a lot of room through the pedal. And the last 
um, sound effect that I wanted to introduce you today is you can create kind of an atmosphere through the pedal and this type of pedaling is often used in like impressionistic music um, where it feels like the sound is hanging in the air somewhere. You can't really grab it. Let me just show you some examples here. In the end, I mean, these were only three sound effects that I'm using most of the time, but you know, you can create much more sound effects with the pedal. Um, and sometimes you're like creating a combination of these sound effects. So you have in the end, like an infinite amount of possibilities. You just have to think about it because you should not use it if you don't know why you're using it. Now, as I said at the beginning, these things are basically created by the pedal, but not only. So to understand how you can use the pedal to create legato, you'll have to first understand what legato means. Again, I'm going to talk about this in the next video. Um, also to create a big sound, it is not only the work of the pedal, but it can support you to do this. In the end, you have to make sure that you know why you're using the pedal and then you have to listen very carefully because the part of your body that is controlling the pedal is not your foot, it's your ear. And this is like the basic of pedaling. So you always have to make sure that it's clear to your ear what you're doing there with your foot and not just pushing it down and leave it there. <laughs> now, um, let's continue in the next video. Of course, there are much more sound effects that you can create with a pedal. So my question to you is, which other sound effects would you try to create with the pedal? Just leave it in the comments. And um, if you like this video, then please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. See you in the next video. Bye.